Greg. Mike. Two bandits. Watching. Bluey. This episode is called Jokes. What up, party people, and welcome. <laughs> there he is. To episode 23. How are you keeping track? <laughs> of two bandits. Two of us. Watching Bluey. I I'm am Bluey. your good pal, Greg Painter. Great pal. And I apologize for the corny intro. Oh. Oh. But this guy's a freak on a leash. What? The, what? It's Mike Martin. Oh, because the cat name. Got it. Okay. <laughs> Like, are you tuning into 14 year old Mike there? <laughs> Welcome to the podcast, buddy. How are you? I'm changing the intro from when you say Greg <laughs> to be that in this episode. That everyone's going to be like, what? He's got Jonathan Davis on set? No, it's Greg Painter. Hey, I'm, did I say my name? I'm Mike Martin. Hey, what's going on? What do you think Jonathan what? Davis's favorite Bluey episode is? You got to figure that out. Ooh. He's 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 one for sad stories. So he's 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 gonna he's gonna go camping. Maybe you think he's gonna go camping? May, maybe sleepy time. Never know. We'll, put him, we'll find out. We'll, 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 we'll hit him up on the, we'll the him Twitter. Up. He's, he's got to be on Twitter at watching Bluey. That's us. That's not Jonathan Davis. He's, at, oh, I'm talking to Jonathan Davis. I'm assuming he's listening right now. So hey, John. Hopefully he's voting in the poll, which is oh, actually gosh, you really. <laughs> it's not live anymore when this drops, but it's live and cooking right now. And buddy, I think next recording, folks, you're gonna get your feet cold. The moment we started, the moment I hit the record button, Syracuse Snow said, hey, watch me. I'm still here. And it went from I could see the end of the street to now I can see just about the front of Greg's car. And that's about it with this lovely white amount nice of flakes coming and down. Chilly. Pull oh, results will be official. Intended again. You're just slinging them today. <laughs> nice and do. chilly. It's what I do. I totally didn't mean to do that one. But yes, I did. Guys, you did listen to my argument, right? Bandit. Okay. It, much like me, how do you make a diamond? With pressure. The votes will come in time. My will people will show. I think we have like four days left. I we said have four like a five-day time. Votes will be closed before this is published. But that's we okay. got this. This one, this one will drop probably with a video of you walking around in the snow. It'll be a beautiful thing with your little tootsies out. My little what? Little tootsies. <laughs> your toes. Tootsies. Your tootsies. Come on. <laughs> I do call them piggies. So. But I do Piggies, have some totos. I do have some good news for you. <laughs> okay, go for it. I love going news. into bandit botches. Okay, giving you partial credit on this one, bud. I think I deserve a, a thank you to at Red Octopus Fan One. Yes, the Blue Mountains are blue due to the eucalyptus oil droplets that hang in the air. So it's not because the leaves are blue, mm -hmm. but it's the oil that the leaves produce or that the trees produce. So that's pretty darn close. I'm going to give you partial credit. I thank you again. At Red Octopus Fan One for the clarity. I, 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 a bandit botch ish. There you go. Botch ish. I mean, there's other ways that we could word it, but I think a botch ish is okay. That's all right. I mean, I had the thought process as we started doing these bandit botches of going through old episodes and oh, that's a editing, slope. editing them out and making me sound correct in that moment. <laughs> so people try to be like, "Oh no, it was Roosevelt." <laughs> be like, "Oh, I said Roosevelt," but I have. Too much time in my hands if I that would to be that, a so. long venture for you, good sir. <laughs> Slow con people going through the backlog, being like, Wait, he did say Roosevelt. Why do they why do they call it a botch? No, well, let's I see, said let's I see what we can botch in this one. It might be hard because there's not Oh, there's plenty that we're gonna botch. Well, I'm there's sure. plenty. Oh, we'll see though. But this one's a, this is another interesting one. We got shops today. We're going to the shop, baby. Going to the shop. It's but what is the shops? What it, what well where would we go to to find an answer like that? Probably. Our friends at Wiki Bluey. Oh, Wiki Bluey, what's a shop? Bluey and her friends set up a pretend shop for a role playing game. Mackenzie becomes frustrated when Bluey spends too much time making up rules and deciding the details of the scenario. The friends learn how to assign suitable roles to each other in order to enjoy the game. Very Man, book reporting. As I was about to say, as, as <laughs> I said before, I don't I don't pre pro these, I just copy paste and read them live. Uh huh. That's that makes like let's take this episode and make it sound as boring as possible. I was to say, I need you to bring some own when you're reading these things. I need like great well, painter announcer voice. Going. Well, I almost said scenario <laughs> instead of scenario. That would have been more fun. Yeah, that, that would have been throw a little the accent twist. The scenario. Oh, yeah, should have done it. I mean, Magic Claw had complex. You know, they had That's to come true. up with an entertainment scenario. See, it's not a game. It's <laughs> this is real life. 
<laughs> Let's get into it. Let's get into the shop. We oh. start off interesting opening shot. The bird chirping? The, the little bird just chilling on the log, getting yeah. chased away by the kid. I don't know why, but I just enjoyed that. Where are they coming from? Are they are they in school right now? Is it a group hangout that they're? My, my guess it could be school because you go buck wild at school. Everybody there was uh, Bluey school friends. We didn't have any didn't have any bingo. Didn't have any judo. But everybody yeah. who was there does go to the school. So I think that's a good good guess. Okay, we're out in the woods, playtime at Calypso School. Okay, I can see that. That's yeah, that makes sense. That 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 tracks. That goes. I, we had a, in my elementary school, I know there was like a wooded area that it felt like we were roaming through the wilderness, uh-huh. but it was just like five trees and we felt cool being over there. Okay. So it could be a similar situation to that. It's not actually in the middle of the forest, which it looks like, which is why, spoilers, why it's so easy for Rusty to show up midway through and just be like, <laughs> that's true. <"Sup." laughs> well, I mean, Rusty is in the army, so he could, that have is been, true. Like, he could be on an expedition right now. That is very true. <laughs> he just survived. But we get together. Like you said, jeez. But we get together. We got Bluey, Chloe, Honey, and Mackenzie wanting to set up a shop. Yeah. Mackenzie's down, but only if it doesn't take ages to decide stuff. I feel like that tells a huge story right out of the gate. Mackenzie knows. Mackenzie knows. And I I love Bluey's line here. Well, we'll have to see. Mackenzie's like, okay, okay. So he's coming with like a barrier. He's like, he's been down this road before. I'm prepped for it. (laughs) I know what Bluey's going to bring to the table. Tolerance. I've got this. Nothing you have to tolerate, Bluey, but <laughs> the eyebrows come into play. We'll, we'll, get, we'll get into it, too. I think we might have a... This might be another conflicting viewpoints, but we'll see. Okay. Let's like, okay. see who's, Why you gotta give me that who's in the again? right, who's in the wrong. Audio Bluey, medium. Mackenzie. We'll, no find out. we'll find out. But we're setting up the shop. The log is the shop. We got the pine cone for the till. Mm-hmm. And the leaf is the bit where you go, doot. Yeah. Straightforward. That's doot. Fine. Yeah, that's fine. Doot. Chloe wants the dude. Love the dude. Love the dude. You got the tree for the doors. <laughs> Love the dude. Some some sort of vegetation for the bell that yeah. looked like a turnip, right? The, oh, the the the, uh, the hanging the hanging yeah. bit there. Yeah, I, yeah, I could see tur- like a like some sort of radish. I guess. Well, I don't think radishes grow together. Did they tie them? I don't, I don't think turnips do either. What, what is but some that? sort of? Yeah, that was a weird vegetation thing. Again, friends in Australia, help us out at Watching Bluey. What's that thing? What's that? Yeah. What's that thing? What's that thing? Hashtag what's that thing? Because <laughs> I, I don't know. I spent too much time looking up other fruit in the episode and I was like. Oh, we'll get I, to it, friend. Oh, we'll get to oh, it. Was, did you bake me anything? We, we will get to it, friend. Ooh! Oh, you better, not, get better, not, better not be so, no, no bandit letdowns. I, I can't there think of alliteration. There will not be, good sir. But let's keep bandit going. Bandit bombers. Well, let's keep, yeah, I got one. Let's keep going because then we can get there. Okay. We got to make a plan. We got to get there. Yep. Oh, oh! don't make me go Mackenzie on you. How many plans are you going to come up with here? What's the itinerary of this episode that you have in front of me? It's a giant itinerary. Mackenzie decides to mm. be a customer. Sure. Done. Game started. Let's go. Stop. Mm. Have to decide what to be. How long is right this here, recess? Right here. Mackenzie's like, you said this wasn't going to take ages deciding. No, she didn't. One, nobly did not say that. She said, we'll see. A very good <laughs> a very good parent answer. Emily's figured that out. When I say, well, we'll see about that, that just means no. Like, <laughs> you got got. Got got. She's not wrong. But oh. got got. So that's what I have to look forward to? Because Finn right now has gotten to the age that he he negotiates. Or he's just like, you know, I'm, I tell him, like, I'm trying to go to bed. And he's like, oh, okay, bedtime. I'm like, yep. He's like, well, one storybook and then I can use blue tablet. And I'm like, oh, we'll see about that. He's like, storybook, then blue tablet. He's trying to negotiate with me. So that's what I get to look it's forward to sell. is them being like. They get smarter. We'll see. It's tough. Uh, he's already but smarter I, than me. I'm done but right it. here, I'm, I'm on Bluey's side. Okay. We, only, we only know one person, customer. We know nothing else. So okay. they need jobs. Mm-hmm. Find out Blue's going to be the shopkeeper. Oh. Even though Chloe wants to be. Chloe wants to be shopkeeper. But Chloe can be the assistant. Do you get to do it? Oh, when the shopkeeper's sick. You, liked it. you said you like the do so I like the. Oh, I said, do, you, do they get to do? Oh, I like the do. You like the do? Do. Uh huh. Yeah. Do you not like Chloe? Chloe wants to do. She wants to do what she can do if the shopkeeper is sick. Shopkeeper sick? No, she's feeling fine. Boo. Boo hiss. <laughs> Rough. She kind of grimaces. She's like, ah. Oh. She goes along, though. She goes along. Chloe's... She goes along to get along. Chloe's, Chloe's a good friend. Chloe's a good friend. Honey, gonna be a customer. Oh, I thought you were talking to me. Let's go. Wait. Oh, Mackenzie's in. Let's go shopping. Doesn't know what he's walking into. Honey, could should, be anything. Honey should be a kitten. 
And Mackenzie's okay. the owner. Okay. And here's my first diversion. Hey, Hammer Barn, friends. That doesn't look like a superhero. What's that? That cat doesn't look like a superhero to me. Our friends at the Hammer Barn Project saying cats are superheroes. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. Is that just their secret identity? Is that why Honey tries to talk? Ooh. Because cats are pets. Gregory going But then the their secret identity dun, dun. is superheroes? Dun, dun. Re- reference back catalog, the Hammer Barn Ooh. Project special. Wow. It sounds like you're putting a little bit of panache on your statement here. What are cats, man? You're throwing down the cat statement. The what cat question. Are cats. Ooh, we got we got so many questions in this episode already. We're only so like we're barely seconds in. This is barely great. begun. Hmm. That's true. Also, I mean, what so <clears throat> outside, I mean, that has to be the only direction that you can go in when it comes to what kind of story you're creating. If honey's a cat. Yeah. Are there ser- are there service cats? There's probably like emotional oh, Okay, stress relievers. Cat, like, yeah. Okay. What's Emotional support cats. That's yep. got to be a thing. Sure. Because, uh, I mean, that would be the first route I go to is like, pet store. <laughs> well, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, I think that's what everybody was assuming. So they started to go. But then we get another wait. Because uh, we have to find out what kind of store it is. It's a store that sells kittens. So you're still you're still on Bluey's side right now. You're like, okay. Yep. Got to figure it out. Okay. It's not a store that st- sells kittens. Sells mm-hmm. things for kittens. Okay. So can we get started now? I, I mean, wait. I, I, oh, you're... <laughs> They need to find Mike, not Mackenzie. (laughs) Mackenzie over here. So Chloe Chloe and Bluey need to find some stuff to sell for the kittens. Sure. Mackenzie getting annoyed, twisting his ears back a little bit. Sure, sure. And Chloe's helpful still. Like, I'm I'm the assistant. Sure. You know, maybe we're a kitten shop. So they run off. Try Mm. to find stuff for the store. Sure. Find some sticks lying on the ground. What else they find? Some cash. Lily pillies? Lily pillies. Do you know what a lily pilly is? It's a very easy 10 letter search in Google, and I found them. They're berries. They're berries. I don't know why I said it like that. They are berries. They're very bright berries. They're like shrill purple. Yeah, they can make good jellies. Can, can purple be shrill? Also known as monkey apples. There's what? Also known as monkey apples. Okay. What? Why? Wait, wouldn't an apple be a monkey apple? Like, <laughs> what, what purpose is a monkey apple? Know how I know so much about lily pillies? Why do you know so much about lily, pill- lily pillies, and why are they called monkey apples? Uh, Maybe that's I know why I so them much them. because in about five days, okay. or whenever we record next, okay. I'll be coming over to your house okay. with a half dozen seeds so we can grow our own lily pillies. Cool, man. <laughs> they ordered us some lily pilly seeds online because I was like, hey, you can eat these suckers. We should try to eat some. They're not going to grow in January in Syracuse, homie. <laughs> We will. We have the magic inside of us the whole time. We will make it happen, and by season two recording, we will be able to have some lily pillies. Okay, all right. So we're gonna have a little. We're gonna have a little plant growing contest. Yeah. Contest? Yes. Yeah, so I can, have so backup. So you can grow the best lily pillies. Yes. Hey, Carrie, hit me up. Let me know um, when you're available. I know that you've you have seen a, our house, an all herbal the garden. Bath. You're, you got this bath. <laughs> Apparently, we're not <laughs> here for the competition. <laughs> <laughs> the ladies duke it out over the best lily pilly. You mean my Lily Pillies. I don't know what you're talking about. Lily Pilly last standing contest. Oh, alliteration abound. Got this. Buckle up, Buttercup. <laughs> Strap Lily yourself Pillies in, kids. are going to be 10 feet tall. Are the we trying to grow the, the biggest Lily Pilly? The biggest and the best. Oh, we need to have like We'll a... have photos on oh. Twitter as our Lily Pillies advance. Guest judges eating our Lily Pilly meals and dishes. Get ready. Get pumped. Bandit bet round two. Oh. Oh. It's on. Can we start, please? With what? Oh. Wait! Wait, I don't know what the next thing is, though. <laughs> you got it! <laughs> I got the wait part. Well, right before the wait, we got Chloe checking again. Bluey, you sick yet? Oh, she's trying. No, I'm fine. It's okay. She Chloe's going to poison Bluey here before long she doesn't, to uh, get a, her to leave the shop <laughs> so she can enjoy her life. Maybe she doesn't know if Lily Pillies are edible or not, and she's like, oh, yes, the Lily Pillies. <laughs> Chloe's out to get her. The ding? Wait! You have no money. How can you buy things without money, Mike? How? Thievery? Oh. Whoa. Ooh. It's a different kind of game. Mackenzie the Rogue. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Oh, I mean, and that's where the superhero cat comes in, saves the day. Oh, Ooh. see, this could have this could have gone a certain this way. This could have gone. But Bluey just had to make more rules. It's okay. We'll just have the bumpy lily pillies. Okay. Be treats. Yep. And the nice, pretty round ones be the dollar box. I bet you break the bumpy. 
gross lily pillies. Mine are the nice <laughs> oh, brown you ones. Almost, you almost got it's the like first money. curse word out of Mike there. <laughs> oh, you Wait. jerky jerk. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> also, we need a birthday cake for the kitten. Wait, but how do you even know it's the cat's birthday? A. No, that's not what you say. First, we're going to be out of them, and then you have to be sad. We actually, we do have them. Chloe's here to um, And you're also still sad, though, because they're different than what you wanted. This so are you still on? Are you okay? You still on Team Bluey here? Two or, things. Okay. Two things on this. Go for it. One, Please. Bluey's getting a little in the weeds now. A little in the weeds. Yep. This is a thing that kids do, though, and I did not realize it until just kind of overhearing Emily play sometimes. They play in a way where it's, we're going to play this, and you're going to feel this way, and then you're going to say this. Okay, and then after I say that, they pretty much write scripts for each other. Interesting. In their play. I never did that as a kid that I I'm about to say, I was boring was as all, hell. It was all improv, we'll just do whatever, and it was a mess. It was like, we're going to play moms and dads, and I'm going to be, or moms and babies, and I'm going to be the mom, and you're going to be crying because you don't have this, and then I'm going to get it for you, but you're not going to like it, and you're going to keep crying, and then I'm going to do this. And action. I was boring. <laughs> I can't think of a time that I was like, you go over there and do that. And I'm going to do this. I remember Carrie telling me she wrote like a full script and did like a whole play and all that kind of stuff. Be but boy he... brains versus girl brains. They're smarter than us. You know that, right? Is that why Mackenzie's snapping? Probably. He's got, he's got like full boy brain. Like <laughs> just wants to go. I mean, <laughs> wants to destroy something. Yeah. And maybe Flip a table, maybe the, the, the testosterone kicks in with, with a little bit of bro power. With Rusty showing up in a little bit. Spoiler alert. I get it. People have watched the episode. I'm guessing. I'm hoping. Otherwise, you're just listening to us, which we super appreciate anyway. So thanks for joining us. What's up? We're talking I, about Bluey. I, I still love thinking about the idea of somebody who just pauses the episode until we get to the next point. And then, okay, <laughs> keep going. Do, do, do. Somebody full on experiencing the episode with us. And they're like, spoiler, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> da ding. Mackenzie <laughs> walks in. Honey Jonathan Davis is the one that's watching hello. it episode by episode with us. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Stop. I keep thinking you're talking to me. I'm not going to lie to you. A little bit. Sometimes. Oh. Mackenzie drops to their knees, rage, pulls mm. their poor little ears down. Oh. I don't think kittens should be able to talk. Just meow. <sighs> Getting a little micromanagey, Bluey. Honey, honey's cool with it. <laughs> honey's like, cool. Why not? Because can cats talk in the universe? We're, we don't this know. Is, this is a little more meta. This is, well, this, we're getting into it. You, it's like you're setting me up for my next lines. Because mm. after that, all the girls start meowing. Mm -hmm. And they do the, the like, they have like the starry eye thing, the yeah. please face somehow. And Mackenzie just kind of looking over. And Mackenzie just stares deadpan into the Breaks camera. Breaks the fourth wall. Breaks the fourth wall <laughs> on us. Loved it. <laughs> The just look so over. It's like, uh, Chloe's doing Oh, okay. Oh, Honey's doing it. Oh, Blue, Blue's doing it. Get me out of here. I need a savior in this <laughs> you, moment. I need that Price is Right sad trombone. How did I ever get into this mess? But I think we're there. I think yes. we're there. We did it. We get another da ding. Yes. We start to walk through the door. Wait. I'm out. I'm out. Now Blue wants to be the kitten. It's I'm fun to be the kitten. <laughs> I'm so proud of Mackenzie making this far. Like, like you said, the, the Mackenzie in the beginning is warning Mackenzie of the M Mackenzie he's about to become because this is the Mackenzie that they did not want to become. <laughs> this is breaking point. <laughs> this is point break Mackenzie. Oh, dear. Boom. Second police says, I'll be the kitten. Chloe jumps into action. Shopkeeper. Let's do this. <laughs> Even shifts her body down one person so she can be do, clearly. Do. It's me. It's go time. But Honey wants to be the kitten. Hmm. So Bluey offers up the shop owner and Chloe's reaction. People's oh, drink. No, thank you. Sleeves pulled up. The, boy, the vial of poison back in the back pocket there. <laughs> Don't need that. <laughs> but Honey doesn't want to be the shop owner. She wants to be the kitten owner. But Mackenzie's the kitten owner. And he doesn't want to be the assistant. Mm. Now I, I, I got nothing. I'm out. Like... The script is 14 pages long. Nobody wants to give up jobs. Everybody wants to do. And then Billy's just sitting there. The one who'd been doing the whole episode. Only one not doing in that moment. Mackenzie. Don't know. Mackenzie says, I will do anything to start. Even be the assistant. Team player, Mackenzie. Yeah. He's stepping up right there. I just want to play the game. But then, but then we have no customer. That's not true. They're right, right here. They goof themselves. Oh, they goof themselves, these them kiddos. Out. You're I'm calling call out the, the six-year-olds? Yes, I'm calling out the six-year-olds. 
Because Honey <laughs> said she would be the kitten owner. Okay. The kitten owner's the customer. Sure. They they had this set. They had this unlock. Mm. And they just there's got too much so, going on. I'm too confused. I'm about to say there's too much going on. <laughs> I'm too asleep. much being said. They <laughs> had this right here. Mm. And it's a shame because that's when Mackenzie finally snaps. Did it! Gosh. We're never going to start. I'm out. Leaves. At this point in time, it feels like the episode is about 26 minutes long. I said that to you when we were watching the episode. It feels like there's so much preparation. So much prep. I'm out. I'm with Mackenzie. Dude. The world's saddest dude. Dude. Oh. The world's saddest dude. Clodog. dog. Every- Dootin. Do, do, do. Everybody just kind of sitting there. Mm. Blue wants Mackenzie to come back. Cake's just sitting there by itself. But Blue keeps making more and more things. And Mackenzie just wants to start to play too early. Just want to play! So they promise, and I love this line. It's a cute kid line. Oh, Promise great not to parental. start until you're ready. And I promise to be ready when you want to start. Compromise. <laughs> this is for such such a random kind of episode with just four mm-hmm. kids in it. Mm-hmm. And that interesting thing, too. Four kids in it. No credits. No credits for me to read off because it's an no. uncredited episode. Yep. Completely. It's just the it's just the littlies, as you just, like to say. Just four kiddos chilling and hanging out, and that's one of the best little kind of morals for a kid right now. Don't rush it. Be patient with your friends. Whatever it takes to make the fun happen, make the fun happen. Whatever it takes, within reason. There's a lot of weights. I think there's about eight weights total. There's I did, I a did, lot of weights. I did not have a weight counter. Didn't I have a scale of weights? No, that's a bad joke. Um, I was going to go more with like a, what do you think they are? Aaron Burr? Wait for it. Wait for it. Yeah, we're both here. All day, folks. Look at us go. Look Can at us see go. his face in an endless uphill climb. Have you ever bought a- He wants to play shops. Nobody else will. You ever bought a cake for your cat? No. I'm just curious. What, what Cat's birthday, we put um a candle in wet food. Does that count? Yeah, that's it's more of the thing we do too. Like, and even Maybe. like for Thanksgiving, we'll give him like a little wet treat. I was singing a song and you interrupted me. That really hurt my feelings. Wait! So you know. <laughs> Greg's singing, folks. We, get, we, get, we have the musical stylings of Greg Painter in this episode. This is wonderful. Make that sound good, by the way. Oh, don't. Make my voice sound like... Do you want more background silk. music? <laughs> silk? <laughs> We're ready to start. Hang on. Oh, oh, my goodness. Still no assistant. That's true. Rusty! do is there anything he can't do? Oh, the bromance is here. We got Chloe, the shop owner, Rusty, the assistant, Mackenzie, the cat owner, Cat One Honey, Cat Two Bluey. There's only one lead. Hey, guess what, Mike? We sell leads. We sell leads. Rusty. Rusty's just like. To the rescue. Yo, guys, what's up? Fixing problems. That's an issue. Got it. Done. Don't worry. Boop. Don't worry. Boop. Let's play the game. And the music. We didn't talk about the music at oh, all in this episode. I've got a paragraph and a half, my Good. friend. The so build we will up is get there. So well Four, done. Sure. The whole so episode building. is building. It's, it's building. building. It's Sorry, the person building. that's been watching the episode the whole time along. We haven't talked about the music in the episode, but the music is spot on because it builds up, builds up. And then, as Greg likes to say, crescendo. It crescendos. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this song. Golly, this song. It's the entire time I will always listen to this one. Mm-hmm. This is Looney Tunes to me. Really? This is like classic Looney Tunes music. The da, 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 like the Bach. line dancer. The, what? Offenbach. That's the it's the composer. Okay. <laughs> it's a Looney Tunes song from Looney Tunes <laughs> where they go. Hey, that one. Offenbach. We'll link it it's in the, Bugs, the episode. It's the Bugs Bunny song. What are you talking about? Crazy. <laughs> oh goodness. We're playing. We're having a time. Oh. Start the timer. Tails, Gosh, they spent so tails, much time building tails up. Tails aren't just wagging. Like, their entire bodies are wagging with excitement. Not only that, they wag in tempo with the song. Ooh. Like, it's so well done that it's set to the tune of the music that's going on in the background. And I like I like that we both did this. We both had this uh, impulse. What? To time how long <laughs> the actual game was. 19.85 seconds of fun of this 26 minute episode of building up. Let's play bus drivers now. Ah! Flip that shop upside down. <laughs> Ransack. They destroyed. The table. Dunzo. <laughs> that poor table. That poor log in the woods. Ugh. It'll be there for another game in another day. Because it's time for bus drivers, it's yo. It's time for bus drivers. Ugh. I do enjoy, not to, not to spoil it for next episode either. 
Uh oh. They are playing bus drivers. Next episode, we got Wagon Ride, which I'm very excited about. Yep. And a very ex- exciting uh, special guest yep. we will have on that one. But Wagon Rides, they do play bus driver. Not that they not do. the same four they kids. Do. Not the same four kids. Interesting. Yeah. The timeline continues. Gotta love it. Also, um, you mentioned Mackenzie breaking the fourth wall when they were all meowing. Mackenzie gives a look to the screen. Bluey does the same thing right before they start playing, where he's like, I'm going in. I'm going to go in. Anyone going to stop me? Anyone? And at the last second, Bluey drops the eyebrows and looks at the screen like, oh, he's toying with me now. He's doing the thing. It gave me a little bit of, a little bit of like, ah, see, a little bit of your own medicine. Are you going to stop me? You going to stop me? Wait. Before we go on, I'm just curious. Yeah. For three things about your life. Go on, please. Hey, Mike, what's your favorite thing? Sing it to me. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> My favorite thing? Oh, wow. Is that how we start? It is how we start, isn't it? Okay, sorry. It's 23rd episode. I'm new here. Um, <laughs> my favorite thing, and we did laugh at it together already, but it was Mackenzie breaking that fourth wall with the meowing. It was just a mixture of Mackenzie's hitting that breaking point, but also like a, y'all seeing this? <laughs> three kids just, meow, meow, See what I got to deal with? <laughs> like, I'm just... I just want to play shops, man. Like, it could be two seconds, but okay. This is cool. We're all meowing. I'll be here. Anyone? Greg. Yo. Hit me with your favorite thing. That tail wagging in unison moment. I didn't uh, even know the tempo piece. Yep. That makes it even cooler. But just the excitement, their mm-hmm. bodies, the music building. It's good vibes. So excited for the shortest game in the history of games. seconds 19.85 seconds of fun. All they need was a little bit of rusty. Just you came in, be like, boom, I'm going to do this. Don't worry, we have it. I don't know where he pulled it out of, but you get, I don't, I missed two. I've watched this a few times building up for today. Where did Honey's leash co- lead come from? I don't know. That and I also don't, me. I also do not know where Mackenzie put the dollar bucks because they give her the, ki- the, the kitty treats and then boom, he's got dollar bucks. It's the magical wallet of Bluey. There's a, it's <laughs> the hashtag hidden wallet. I don't like that. <laughs> Where are we going now? Oh, Greg. Yeah. I have a question for you, actually. You said you have three questions for me, but I'm going to rebound it anyway. Ooh. Who's Greg's favorite character? Might be uh, another, and we got to stop doing this. Uh oh, maybe. Mackenzie. Ooh. Mackenzie is my. Oh, we don't. We're not. We saying. don't. No. Mackenzie had patience of a saint in this one. Yep. All the way to the end. Okay. I was trying to rush fun. Okay. But he was the odd man out, literally. Yeah. He was, a, he was the lone bro until the seven minute mark of the sucker he, he was trying <laughs> to find solutions he was trying to be patient and in the end they all figured it out and they all had a good old time i just very much enjoyed mackenzie this episode i don't think it's a bandit bot if we just throw it out there and guess randomly do you know who the the saint of patience is no is there one <laughs> i'm sure there is because there's saints for everything Hashtag not going in the episode you gonna guess it out there anyway go ahead throw it out there i'm gonna say saint patrick Oh, um, no. <laughs> <laughs> what? Woo! I don't know why. That's the first thing that came to my mind. I'm sorry. Oh, you're not going to guess. You're just going to look. I think it's probably St. Therese is my guess. Oh, no, no. But I'm not Skip. sure. Could be anything. Also, St. <laughs> Patrick. I don't know. It's the first thing that popped in my head. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Oh, um, in my hey, research hey, of the Mike. episode. Hey, Mike. Yeah. Who's your favorite character? I like Chloe a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Chloe's really good about making sure, like, it, she's she's the original Rusty in the episode. She's trying to solve things and, and keep coming up with ideas throughout the, the, the shop's creation as opposed to getting angry about it. She's like, oh, well, maybe it's a kitten shop. And, oh, these lily pillies are going to be the, the, the treats. She always, but she also, she has that sneaky, unbridled... <laughs> I'm going... Willingness to become the shopkeeper. <laughs> One day the apprentice will become the master. That's Chloe. <laughs> I'm stalling myself about the whole same I'm sorry. Oh boy. Uh, did you know though? The one thing I did find in the research of the episode, because I just Google things and why not, that Mackenzie's accent is slightly different. Do you know why? I actually do. You I, do. Was, you should I, be so of, excited. You should you should have a flag I, on your wall. I should. Because I was close. You were. The show isn't in Australia, but Mackenzie. Mackenzie. Or the show, the show isn't. 
Dang it! The show <laughs> is from na, 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 New Zealand, but Mackenzie is. Mackenzie is. And I guess that was confirmed in a uh, season three episode. Oh, really? Yeah. No kidding. Yeah. From what I saw, yeah, in a couple of threads that I was reading on, both Mackenzie and the Terriers are Kiwis, as they call oh. New Zealanders. So you're not alone. Don't maybe that. Like, I think Mackenzie might have been the first character you saw. Must be in the show. Only and that's that makes why sense. Just thinking. Yeah. Looking out for me. What a guy. Whew. What can I say? You know, there's there, it, it's nobody wants to listen to one bandit watching Bluey. <laughs> hey, bud. Yeah. How do you rank this one? I'm gonna give this episode. What would St. Patrick give it? Let's be patient and think about it. I'm gonna give this one 49 dudes. 49 dudes. That's excellent. Everyone likes the dudes. Hey, Greg. Dude. Yeah. How you ranking this one? I rank this one six tall, beautiful lily plants, <laughs> and then six other really short, malnutritioned lily billy plants. Hashtag yet to be lily pilly challenge. Next week, buddy. It yet gets to real. Be- what do you mean next week? They show up on February third. Oh, I is mean, that? What- I mean this week because that's. Four days after now, which is the 31st of January. Nailed it. Yep. Nailed it. Uh-huh. <laughs> out of the, are, you, are you growing them then? When does the challenge start? When they get here. I mean, we put them in dirt. I'm going to bring them here. What? You're going to put half of yours in dirt. I'm going to bring mine home, put mine in dirt. And we're going to grow these suckers. It's going to be great. There's no sun. There's only light, bro. <laughs> oh, I thought we were waiting for something to do this. They're going to be like sea you don't plant. We're making I'm, winter I'm, lily pillies. <laughs> I'm already gonna win this because you're gonna plant seeds outside. <laughs> I'm not gonna put them the outside. Rabbits, the rabbits, the rabbits will get to them. They're what? Oh yeah, you're, we do have rabbits in the wintertime. Actually, they're they're still out all over the place. You're toast. You're toast. Thank you, everybody, as always for listening. It's everybody's favorite time. It's plug time at Watching Bluey. Come have fun with us. We put up <laughs> polls. Us. We have lily pilly growing challenges. We have bats. Mike's gonna, Mike's gonna be walking in snow, and we're gonna take videos Just of it. My people are so coming. So much fun well, over there. I, I, oh, the, the poll's going to be over by the time. Yeah, the My people have already showed up. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much to all the people that came in the final moments there. It was it was like an NFL overtime game or something like that. We came down to the wire. We knocked it out of the park. And Greg's feet are going to be so cold in a dream I have tonight. Because Watching Bluey at Gmail. Send us your I take. Send us your it. thoughts. Audio on any upcoming or past episode. Let us know what you think. Seriously. We love hearing from you. Yeah. Send, send us your takes. We love it. We Hell love hearing up. from you. Or just, just just shout out, you know, not even botches, but some funny, you know, thing you like. Thing like you Greg's like. really great Jonathan Davis impersonation. It was wonderful. I can't wait to edit this episode and we had Jonathan change that Davis. Intro. <laughs> we had Leslie Odin from Hamilton. I just was hitting all of them. You just somehow because I'm <laughs> musically talented. See? That's why there's two Rate, of us. Review, subscribe, please leave comments, five stars. We appreciate it. We we'll love give it. Give me a holler. Speaking of hollers, big old shout out here Uh-oh. at Mr. R Man with two N's. One. Oh, for, for sure. The Seriously. Unbelievable art that you sent of the two of us recording. Rock it out. Was, it was awesome. I love the little bandit sitting on the desk, which we literally do have a little bandit sitting on the desk. Boom. So cool. Love it. Showing it to everybody who has eyes. Love the thing. Thank you so much. <laughs> If they didn't, we'd still tell them about it. In detail. You wouldn't believe it. And last, and most importantly, Uh-oh. if you need some pet supplies of your own, yeah. hit up the Brisbane Pet Superstore. Superstore? On Stafford Road. Ooh. Or visit them online at petsuperstore.com.au. Look at that. Can you get a lead from there for your you cat? Get a lead. You can get a follow. You can get a like and subscribe. Do people walk cats? You can walk a cat. Our, our neighbor, I've seen them walk their cat on a leash and it's very awkward looking. It's not, a, it's not a judgment statement. It's just you don't see it very often. You can get shop. You can shop for dog supplies, cat supplies, <laughs> fish, birds. Oh, you said you can get shot. Reptiles. <laughs> you can get anything. You can get a 12 kilogram bag of dog food for only 120 bucks. That's a good deal right now. How do you know so much about this place? Are you on the website right now? Yeah, I am. Yeah. Use promo code. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Perfect. That's Perfect. wonderful. We did it. Proud I'm of proud. us as always. Oh, gosh, I'm blushing. Uh, but oh, yeah. I hate to say it, but. Don't Wait. say it. Oh, it's got to be done. It's got to be done. We did it. <laughs>